Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James and welcome back to The Sound One. Today I've got another amplifier unboxing for you. This time around it's a Pure Audio, uh, Pure Audio 1 I believe it's called. It's an integrated amplifier. It's the only integrated amplifier they do. They're a very small New Zealand company that do really really nicely built simple hi-fi equipment. This is what we got here, Pure Audio. So uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's open it up and take a look. Pure Audio One Integrated, it's called. Black. It does come in a uh, like a gunmetally grey silver option colour. I'll show you that a little bit later on. This is obviously a 240 volt uh, one because that's what we run here in New Zealand. Let's have a look. This here is the remote, and I am going to show you this because the remote is actually pretty cool. Look at this. Aluminium? Is that a cool remote or what? Look at that. That is so cool. It actually, it reminds me a wee bit of a lightsaber. That's so cool. And you'll see why the remote is like this in a second when you see the amplifier. Speaking of which, that is next. Get these sections of foam out. Okay, looks like it's all nicely packaged in this closed back foam. This is the one thing I'm finding with unboxing these amplifier boxes and things myself. The boxes love to close themselves up again while I'm trying to work on them. There it is. Looking pretty cool already. I'm uh, gonna set the camera down and get it out of the box. Oh geez, it's heavier than I thought. Oh. Oh my god, that is deceivingly heavy. Basic power cable in the bottom, we're not going to use that foam back in though. Get it out of its bag. Just taped up at this end. Always preserve the packaging in the bags. This is a seriously cool looking amp. The camera can hardly focus on it. That volume knob, obviously. That feels nice. Our four input selectors and D. What does D correspond to, I wonder? So we got, as you can see, we got vents all over this thing. This is all one piece of five meter, th <laughs> five millimeter aluminium. And as you can see, it's actually folded over. It's not a separate piece on the front. It's just even down the sides. It's one, it's CNC cut. I would imagine it's water jet cut. Um, out of one piece of aluminium. And what you'll notice, see these triangles that are cut out here? If I try and zoom in there, can you see those bits inside there? That's them. So they cut out these triangles, preserve them, and then use them for the heat sinks along each side. Can you see that? It's quite hard to focus in behind that grill, but you can see inside there, all those triangles in metal are the cutouts, and that's what they've used for the heat sink. So they don't waste any material. Very, very cool amp. As you may, uh, as you can probably guess by looking at it, it breathes really, really well because these amps do produce quite a bit of heat. They have four power supplies in them. Four power supplies, it's actually a dual mono amplifier as opposed to a stereo amplifier. So there is two power supplies for the left channel and two power supplies for the right channel. Each of those power supplies has separate windings for the positive, negative, and earth. So yeah, it's really it's made to a really high standard. I'm really interested to see what it sounds like. On the back here we've got four left and right single-ended inputs. So you've got one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And then we've got D and D. And what this D is, I'm gonna check this just to make sure I say the right thing, but I believe what the D left and right channels are, which you can get to by pushing this. They basically what they do is they bypass the volume knob sort of 
see they, they bypass the volume section so if you have something that has its own volume control that you are confident in you can plug it into the D left and right not have to worry about using the volume on this and on the um, integrated part of this amplifier and just use it like a power amplifier but obviously all the other ones that one two three and four do go through the volume knob these are your speaker connectors here so these just loosen like this you loosen that off and then this comes out you can see and this actually does come all the way off and those are just they don't have any holes in them they're just you know that is shanks of metal sticking out so you can put ring terminals over them or fork terminals whatever you prefer but they don't take banana plugs so it's fork terminals or ring terminals and then obviously you got left and right master on off switch at the back power plug and it doesn't appear to have an it doesn't have an on off button at the front it just uses the master which is at the back and then you've just got your four input selectors so the remote which you saw before doesn't have any controls to choose what input you're after just gives you two very very simple buttons probably the buttons you're going to use the most with any amplifier volume up and volume down and that light there that's the color that that lights up when it's on which you'll see in a minute so yeah if you look at the remote and then look at the amp you can tell they've kind of modeled the remote off the amplifier the whole top section of the remote is uh, cut out of one piece of aluminium just the same as the amp the bottom piece of uh, aluminium under this because it's an aluminium base as well is cut out of I think an 8 millimeter piece of aluminium so very very sturdy very strong thick non-magnetic style of um, metal that's something the manufacturer wanted to avoid was any metals that can be magnetic so aluminium was obviously the right choice it has three feet as opposed to four which is good because it means that you're you know you get in the old triangle situation where you can't get any possible rocking one way or another because all three feet will always be on the ground two at the front one at the back so yeah i reckon it's about time i get this plugged in and hooked up and running I spot it in this one here Uh, fire her up. Light. So now we want to choose our input. So we want one, just like that. Get something playing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sound. Riders on the storm. Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Is the red in one home There is no pain you are seeing The distant ships sounding really really good um, myself Dylan and Terry all just came in and had a serious listen to this thing with uh, a variety of different songs and we think it's sounding really good it's got some good power uh, it's quite you know good volume very open very clear now we're liking it we're liking it. it's sounding really good we like how now the remote control gives you the full range of volume on a couple of the previous models of pure audio's uh, equipment their component and power amp setup pre and power amp setup the volume controls only gave you a limited range of volume and then the rest of it was done on the knob so it was a wee bit strange but this one now they've got a motorized encoder in the amp so now you can go all the way from maximum to minimum with the remote which is good sounding really good has it got any heat to it yet we just played it pretty loud for about five or ten minutes oh yes yeah, get some good heat there it's not hot to the touch but it's um warm but that's okay because Pure Audio have thought about it and put heaps of ventilation on it. So yeah, that's that. You'll notice we've also got a couple of other Pure Audio things over here. These are the exact same thing, just this is um, this is the silver colour option that you can get. You can get this amp in that colour as well. These are phono stages, so these are their um, little Pure Audio phonos. They're really nice phono stage as well. Easily competing with the, P70, the Dynavector P75 Mark IV 
different sound but just as good I would say. Okay that's gonna be it for this video guys if you've got any questions about the Pure Audio One Integrated it's called did I say that is that right? Yep One Integrated Amplifier drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys for watching remember if you want to see more of my videos or be notified when I upload hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification button I, if it's still there I think it's still there. Again thank you for watching have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let the music play, and I will catch you guys next time. Kakatiano.